Hello everyone, the Skilled Roy here, and I am here today to say we might finally have our next big step for more information on Project L. This is obviously heavy speculation, so please take what I say with a grain of salt, but here we go. So just recently, League of Legends announced they will be doing a What's Upcoming in 2021 for League of Legends in a big stream this Friday at 7 a.m. PST, or for me, uh, 10 a.m. EST. I believe this might actually be where we get some Project L information. Now, allow me to explain. This sort of stream or video is typically pretty standard, right? Likes to do a lot of news drops uh, right as the new season begins to get people really hyped and excited. Usually see this with things like the preseason updates, as well as the uh, season cinematics, which are put to really cool music, such as Warriors or Awaken. We saw them also mention that other games, though, will be joining this stream as well. We saw them mention specifically LOR, TFT, and Wild Rift, with each of them getting their own unique sort of uh, graphic to count down the days towards the Friday. So it looks like we're looking at a stream full of League of Legends content. It's going to be super, super cool. Now, here's the thing. They also showed this quick preview. Here, I'll show it for you here. In this video, you can see all sorts of the new content that they're probably going to show on Friday, with new units in TFT, new cards in LOR that imply the new Sharima region, and Wild Rift showing off Teemo. There was a ton of stuff in this preview, giving us a taste of Friday. Now, they actually told us about a lot of these already, thanks to the PBE, which, if you really think about it, kind of spoils the surprise ahead of time. It's hard to be hyped about stuff that you have already known for almost a week now. Now, I personally think it's a little odd to show off all this stuff so much far ahead of time, but overall I paid it no mind, I just thought it was a cute little quirk, whatever. However, thanks to Twitter leaker Eskyren, I apologize if I said it wrong, we have been given a lot more details ahead of time. They were leaked the full list of TFT units, some splash charts for upcoming skins, and a bunch of other miscellaneous leaks, all of which have now been proven thanks to the PBE. Suffice to say, they are well researched and have been given a great deal of information that they have been sharing with us. They even leaked the new agent in Valorant, Yoru, as well as his introduction animation. I think it's pretty fair to say that this guy is fairly credible. But one piece of information that they leaked stood out to me. You see, they managed to find the runtime for the event this Friday. The video that we're going to be shown this Friday, it's 62 minutes long. If you look back towards the 10 year anniversary event video, they showed us a ton of content. Project L, Project F, the LOR, Valorant, etc. So much stuff was shown to us, but that was only 48 minutes long. Think about it, in 48 minutes, they showed us every single project that we actually cared about, Project A, Project L, Project F, as well as many other celebrations of League of Legends, Wild Rift, so much reveals and content, it was honestly mind-blowing. 62 minutes is what we're looking at this Friday. So is it possible to fill up that time of 62 minutes with Legends of Runeterra, Valorant, League, TFT, and Wild Rift? Honestly, it probably is, actually. But. We just found out that Valorant will be having its own stream to reveal Yoru, and presumably uh, a new uh, cinematic for that game. That means another game has been taking, taken from that original 48 minute video, and yet they're still going to have more content because they are going almost one fourth more with one less game. That seems almost impossible to do. And so if you imply that Project L won't show up there, you're taking another game away from it. It's almost impossible to believe that this video this Friday will be 62 minutes long and not feature multiple projects that we have not heard an update from in a long time. Now, another big hint towards this was the symbol of this season. As you can see, it's this five pointed symbol, very similar to the crown of the ruined king. And interestingly enough, you can actually see five different columns of co different colored light in the background. The email they sent out to advertise this big event even had those five columns of in the background as well. But in the email body paragraph, they only specifically mentioned four games, League, LOR, TFT, and Wild Rift, which this obviously just doesn't line up with the five pillars that we have, which makes me wonder if they're intentionally trying to signal something, especially since they gave away so much information during the preview of the content this Friday. 
I refuse to believe it's just those four games were arriving. Logically speaking, even if you give each of those games double screen time what they got in the 10 year anniversary, you would still be short of the 62 minute runtime. That begs the question, what can you do as Riot to fill that time gap? In my opinion, it's that we'll finally get an update on Project L and of course other Riot games. It has been much too long with relatively no news, and if you saw my previous video, I think I have significantly proven that the game is extremely close to finishing its production phase. That means we'll be finally getting news of an open beta and further information. Hypothetically, if they want to have this game at EVO this year, information has to be coming soon, so I don't really want to say that this Friday will have Project L information, but it's certainly shaping up to be quite possible. And with that, I invite you to join us in the Project L Discord. We'll be joining a gigantic call on Friday to all watch it together. And if you want to possibly, and I do say this again, possibly make it into a reaction video for the entirety of the Project L Discord, this is your first and hopefully last chance. I hope to see you in the Discord this Friday. As always though, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, like and subscribe and all that good stuff, I'm so sorry I have to say it every time. Let me know what you think in the comments. Am I too hopeful for Friday? Feel free to laugh at me if I get it wrong. <laughs> you know how it is. Otherwise though, see you guys next time. Peace out.